Hello there, dear viewers, and welcome back to Fat Bread. Today, we'll be making uh, my own take of mac and cheese. But this, instead of using mac and cheese macaroni, we'll be using shell pasta. So over here, we have 25 grams of flour. We have 100 grams of mac and cheese. We have uh, 75 grams of uh, cheese later for the toppings and we have 50 grams of cheese for the sauce. We also have butter for the sauce. The butter is 2 tablespoons. We have 30 ml of milk and 100 ml of milk. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is take your small pot like this right here. So you take your small pot and you want to fill it up with water in your sink. Okay, when you're done filling it up with water, uh, put it on uh, your stove. I choose the second stove because uh, I don't think I need so much space for boiling macaroni. Uh, you you boil your you you boil your water first. Oops. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I'll boil my water because I'm using induction. So I'll boil my water at number five. So while I wait, oops, so there's too little water, I'll take a bit more. So while I wait for my water to boil, right, I will start making on I'll start making my sauce. The water will take about 10 minutes. Yeah, around there. So yeah, I'll start my boiling. Okay, wait. So what we want to do next is make our uh, make our sauce. First we will do uh I'll put five heat and I'll slowly melt my butter. Okay. Okay. So now while I'm melting my butter, uh, I will wait. I will know I'm my uh, melting my butter. I'll wait for my butter to melt, and I'll come back later. Okay. As you can see, the butter has now melted. What we want to do is add our flour into uh into our butter. Okay. And then we'll add a bit of milk gradually. Gradually, add it gradually. And make sure you mix while adding the milk. And make sure everything is mixed well. Okay. Because this is mac and cheese sauce, uh, I'm, uh, we also have to add uh, the most important ingredient, I feel, which is the cheese. Just look at how nice it is. Okay, now we'll pour all our cheese in. And we'll mix everything up. I can't wait to taste my, my sauce. So what you want to do for here is you want to mix it well. You, you want to ensure that all the chunks of flour and cheese and milk and butter are all well mixed because later you're going to need this sauce and without this sauce, your dish will not taste very nice. So spread your cheese out evenly. Ooh, I can see. Look at the look at how stretchy the cheese is. So yeah. So what you want to do is just mix the sauce, and I'll be back in a while. Okay, we are done mixing up the sauce. Is this thick lump? It's really nice. I just tasted it, and my kitchen smells really great. So now that our water has finished boiling, what we want to do is add our macaroni's in. Be careful. You don't want to add it too fast because you want the water to spill out and, and it may hurt you. So add it little by little and add it closer to the pot. Okay, let's heat it up. We'll wait 10 minutes for the macaroni to boil finish. Then I'll be back in a while. Okay, my sauce has just finished cooking and now I'll be adding some salt to it. After uh, add salt to your taste, I'll be adding about this much. Which is just the tip of my wooden spoon. I'll sprinkle it on and I'll keep it back. Okay. I'll it here and then mix it well, like how you mixed it just now. Ooh, ah, smells so good. Okay, looks like our mac and uh, our mac is almost softened. Uh, we shall start to uh, uh, save out. The sieve out the mac and cheese. Okay, so now what we'll do is take off our lid. Let's check if it Oops. 
trying to follow my recipe uh, get an adult to help you because I almost burnt my hand just now okay so what you want to do now is uh, scoop out all the is to scoop out the macaroni and drain it okay and then lay it out on this casserole dish and lay it out just like that nice and flat Try to get as le least water as possible. I know shell, uh, I know shell uh, pasta traps a lot of water. So try to get all the water out before you place it down. Okay. Yep. And last scoop. Okay. I always find the last scoop the hardest one because like you get you get the least uh you get the least uh of the amount of pasta in one scoop. ml of milk and just slowly pour it on top and voila your food is done and it's ready to eat honestly it's one of the best things ever so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna take a spoon for my drink i'm gonna cut up a small piece for myself okay all the cheese and sauce and all of that and then i'm gonna Oh 
Mm. This is really, really, really good. Mm. Mm. So good. It's so good. Oh my god, I could eat this every day. It's nice and hot. It warms your chest and belly. And it also has this has this uh, mac and cheese. And but and but most shell pasta is usually chewier. So this mac and cheese is more chewy than just normal uh, normal mac and cheese. So I really really like this. Subscribe.